up guys, welcome to Skipper Surf Review. So today I have Simon Shapes Quadfish. And um, this board was hand shaped by John Simon. He is a great shaper out in California. He comes down here to New Jersey Ashbury Park to shape away some boards, custom boards. Uh, so this board wasn't custom uh, shaped for me. Um, and uh, I got it used from Glide Surf Shop. So it was like three months ago, I believe. And uh, yeah, they, they posted on their Instagram and I couldn't really pass that deal and then I grabbed it. So, uh, but actually the new boards are not that expensive. They go under 800, I believe it's 785 for a new one. The performance is amazing. The quality is great. So since it was used, I don't even know like, uh, how many sessions uh, the previous owner put in there. Oh. So had really low expectation from this board uh, because the dimensions are different than what I usually write. I write like a beefier board, like with more volume. This one is like at 5.5, has like a 30 liters of volume, maybe even less. However, the curves and the shape of this board allows me to paddle really fast in the water because it has like a really nice volume up the chest. And it's kind of like pretty wide, like towards the nose. So it does help me to get into the ways very easy. It's super light, uh, has like a flat deck, big nose, and really extreme kind of curves. Maybe it gives this board that unique feel when you go down the line and you want to do turn, it just turns so easy. Uh, yeah, and um, I would say the, the fins um, play a really major role. Uh, this John recommends uh, Pyle split kill set. Uh, honestly, I didn't have time to order it, so I used just first session loveless kills, and it actually worked, honestly. Like, so I set up as a twin, and uh, it was holding really great, like down the line, but when I wanted to do the turn, sometimes it would just like slide down crazy down the face. However, I would still have still have control down the line and it was just impressive that it, <laughs> that setup worked. Uh, then I used my KS1 set, Endorphins, and um, yeah, that set kind of works for me now. Um, maybe down the road I will order the uh, split kill set and uh, see how it's gonna work. If you're looking for some high performance fish, this could be the one. Honestly, I highly recommend for you. Um, so this board is for uh, someone who knows what they're doing or want to really learn um, turns, cutbacks, all that stuff, or who doesn't want to deal with a lot of like buoyancy. So this board will solve all those issues. If you feel like you are, um, you have like a quirky board and uh, it's like bouncing on the chop or on the foam, this board will not do that. So I had like seven sessions on this board and um, yeah, I'm very impressed. So yeah, this is uh, my favorite like a performance fish and uh, I'm kind of um, wish I brought it with me to Puerto Rico. Uh, so next time if I go on a surf trip, I'm definitely bringing this board for those good days and maybe the middling just in case it gets like a really big and this board can handle it. So yeah, this is uh, the one I would say like for really good days, three to five plus. And um, yeah, love this board. Uh, definitely feels great. Under the arms, I feel like I found like a perfect size board for myself, for performance. If I had like a five, seven, maybe it would feel a little bit big. So five, five definitely feels right. I mean, when I pop up, like I barely have to shift my uh, feet like around to figure it out that hot spot up front. And uh, yeah, just if um, my stance like lands like a perfect and uh, yeah, I can do some turns. That's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit notification bell to not miss the next episode. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you for your support and until next time, goodbye.